Hi, this is Susan Carlson and welcome to my studio. I have here my quilt, Surprise Me. It's a portrait of my husband, Tom, and two of his best friends, Joe and Mike. I made this quilt back in 1992. So it's now about 27 years old. And unfortunately, it is showing a few signs of age. We all know that fabric can fade and it's something that it's an issue when we talk about and we ask, you know, what do you do to prevent fading? And I have always been very careful about where my quilts are hung. However, if you were to look up at this fabric right here, this is a batik that started out as a variation of sand color and blue, like, like a seashore sort of color. And obviously it no longer is, has any blue, it's all sand. Now that was a nice batik and I purchased it from a reputable quilt store, but it was back in the late eighties and batiks were just starting to come out and um, they were, you know, really wonderful new look to fabric and to quilting fabric. And um, I'm wondering if those early fabrics, those early batiks um, had issues, you know, maybe they had some, um, you know, color, the color was more fugitive than, than what we find in those batiks now because it was a good company. And um, it, it surprised me when I noticed it starting to fade. And if you were to look, and what I know, what I'm, makes me believe that it's the fabric and not me or where I hung this, is that this fabric right up here is exactly the same now as it was then. So it's not, um, it, it wasn't where I hung it or the conditions it was hung in. Um, it just happened. It, it was, you know, the luck of the draw as far as that fabric goes. Another sign of aging on this quilt is the fragility of the tool. Now I have a layer of tool over top the whole quilt as a shadow quilting technique. And you can see here, this has been snagged. Now tool is always snaggable from the very beginning when you put it on. You could put your hand across it and the ring could snag it. However, it was when I was trying to do a repair on a tear that was happened on this jacket right here that I noticed how fragile it had become. Now this was a tear and I looked at it and I thought, well, I will just put it back under the sewing machine and do some extra stitching to kind of make it look like a fold and then cut away the tool, the snag tool, and it'll look like a shadow, which is kind of what you see here. And I ended up having to do a little more work on it than I expected because as I was starting to stitch 27 years later, um, the, the, just the act of stitching was, um, was tearing the tool. And I was actually creating more of a break in the tool than I was repairing. So it took a little finagling, but I managed it to make it look all right. But it just um, made it so clear that um, tool, which essentially is a, is a plastic, right? It's, it's a polyester. And um, I guess like all plastics, they age, they get brittle with age. And that seems to be happening with this piece as well. So the question I have is, do we, can we assume that the fabrics that we buy now and we use now today, are those better than what we bought 30 years ago? When I'm comparing fabrics of this piece, I'm thinking probably the fabrics are better, the dye lots are better, they're, they're more color fast than some of these earlier, um, you know, uh, art quilt uh, fabrics were. Um, and what about the tool and the netting? You know, I use that all the time in my pieces, but this was a piece of fabric that I bought 30 years ago now. And 
the other early quilts that I've used this particular um, fabric on, it was from the same bolt, those are showing some of the same issues. But other tool that I used isn't. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe things have gotten a little better. Now, one thing that people ask me fairly often as far as longevity of um, my quilts and how I work goes are, um, or is the use of glue. Now this piece, I use a spray adhesive for. Soon after I started using the tacky glue that I still use now, and with either of those um, adhesives, I haven't seen any problems. And there's no discoloration, there's no seeping of anything, it all holds well, you know, that's all good. So I'm happy that that major part of my technique <laughs> I can honestly say is doing just great, you know, 27 down, years down the road. Um, so I guess time will tell how everything else goes. I'm going to keep going the way I'm going and enjoying my quilts and just being extra careful with these old ones. You know, they've got some age to them. They need a little tender care sometimes. <laughs>